This is not about money in this lawsuit. It's about punishing those responsible for the crash that killed the Ligonier police officer and providing for his family now that he's gone. He was truly my best friend and the love of my life. That is how Mary Beth Eslery described her husband, Lieutenant Eric Eslery, in an exclusive interview with Pittsburgh's Action News 4 back in May. The Ligonier police officer killed when his cruiser was hit head on by this van, which investigators say was heading in the wrong direction. A tragic crash that took Eslery from his wife and children. To date, no charges have been filed. There were wrongdoers here and they need to be held accountable. Lawyer Robert Bracken is representing Mrs. Eslery and just filed a lawsuit against three parties. First, Claire Fink, the man police say was driving the van that hit Eslery's car. Investigators believe he'd been drinking heavily. Also named Fink's employer, Westmoreland Pool and Spa. They allowed Mr. Fink to consume a substantial amount of alcohol on their premises prior to the accident. They also entrusted the company van to him. Finally, the Beehive, a strip club on Route 22 where Fink and a passenger apparently spent time in the hours before the crash. The club doesn't serve alcohol, but Bracken says employees should have stopped him. They knew he was drunk, and they had a duty, they had an obligation to ensure that he did not leave that premises and get behind the wheel of his vehicle when they knew he was drunk. The full complaint is not finished yet, but Bracken says he hopes the lawsuit will help the Eslery family survive without their hero. We want to ensure that Mrs. Eslery and the children are provided for in the same manner in which the lieutenant himself would have wanted to provide for them. Now, even though Fink has not been charged yet, state police have told us in the past they're waiting on blood alcohol tests and building their case. Reporting live, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Bob, thank